Welcome to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette, with your host Steve Garrett, MC and DJ at one of the largest Corvette weekends in the country, Corvette Fun Fest, president of the Corvette Club of Kansas City, Missouri, and radio disc jockey at the number one radio station in Kansas City for over 40 years. Here's Steve Garrett. Thanks for listening to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette. Brought to you by Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com to learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit wheelcraft.com today or call 833-840-5334. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. I appreciate you tuning in. You can listen to Corvette Today on all podcast platforms. You can also listen on your smart device. Just say Alexa or Hey Google, play the podcast called Corvette Today, and you're connected. Also, visit the Corvette Today website. It's corvettetodaypodcast.com. And while you're there, make sure you visit the Corvette Today merchandise store. You can also sign up for Corvette Today emails, notifications, and updates at corvettetoday.ck.page. And don't forget, join the Corvette Today Facebook group. We have over 3,800 members, and I'd love to have you as a member as well. And don't forget about the YouTube channel now for Corvette Today. See all your favorite Corvette Today podcasts now on YouTube. First, I'd like to thank our flagship sponsors of Corvette Today, Aerolari Wheels, a true forged wheel with over 20 unique design styles to choose from for your C8 and wide-body versions of the C7, C6, and C5 Corvette. It's an awesome value starting at only $23.88 for a set of four fully forged wheels. And now use the new promo code CT111, that's CT111, and get $100 off your purchase. Visit aerolari.com, that's A-E-R-O-L-A-R-R-I.com, with the new promo code CT111 for your $100 discount. Also, midenginecorvetteforum.com, the forum that focuses on the new mid-engine C8 Corvette. Meet a lot of fellow Corvette enthusiasts like yourself at midenginecorvetteforum.com. Also, a shout-out to canadiancorvetteforum.com, welcoming Corvette owners from around the world. It's time to get the latest Corvette news and headlines with my buddy Keith Cornett from corvetteblogger.com. Keith is here twice per month, every other week, to keep you current and up-to-date on what's happening with America's sports car. Keith, welcome back to the show. I don't know if you all know this, but Keith lives in Tampa, and he's been without power for a few days. So our good thoughts and prayers are with you and your family, Keith. Well, thank you so much, Steve. It's been a crazy week. When these things come, it's a slow motion train wreck headed your way, but yet you don't know which side of the tracks it's going to hit you on. We're just very fortunate here in Tampa. This thing was headed right for us until the last minute, then it turned and unfortunately went into Naples and Fort Myers and Fort Myers Beach. Those people down there just got decimated, so feeling really bad for them. But as for us, everything's fine here. We don't have power yet, but we'll get through it and everything's going well. So let's get on to the news because that makes me happy to talk about That's it. That's right. That's right. Well, Well, let's get to the Bowling Green Assembly plant and find out about production this last week. Yeah, well, actually, you know, the last couple weeks, they've been on a real tear lately. We see them doing around 900 cars per week over the last two weeks. I think they did 926 two weeks ago and then like 906 last week. To do two weeks back to back of over 900 cars is quite an amazing feat. One of the things that we see is they're getting ready to cross over 14,000 bins probably later this week. But that's just the regular Stingray. We have actually four different bins, I believe, now. We've got also the 70th anniversary cars, and now we're getting Z06s going. We're just counting Stingrays. That's quite a few cars out there, so that's all good. The other thing, too, is that the guy that gets us these numbers, he's kind of getting out of the game here at some point. We're just happy it gives us a great indication of what's going on, but obviously it's not the full story when it comes to production. But it looks like things are going pretty well right now for the plant. That's great. And we also had a rare two-shift Saturday last weekend. Actually, here's the deal on that. They announced it. We had a confirmation from the PR person there, the plant communications person there at Bowling Green Assembly. They were all set for a Saturday. Two shifts were going to come in. And then it looks like at the last minute they did cancel that. Never heard why they canceled it. Of course, I've been without power here for a few days and haven't really reached out to Rachel to find out what was going on there. But it just looks like maybe they thought they had additional parts and supplies that they could do, make that run with. They still cranked out over 900 cars that week again which is an amazing number. Very true. Also, Corvette's average sale price, Keith, and I was amazed of this, it's 20% over MSRP. 
Yeah, this is again the supply chain issues and market pressures. They can't make enough of them. People really want these cars. And so you're seeing them sell for more than the MSRP, which has been the case with this car since it's first come out. A recent study from IC Cars has the Corvette at 19.5% higher or almost $15,000 above MSRP. And this is sales prices. So these would be like you're looking at Auto Trader and a dealer might have a car listed over MSRP. And that's how they get these prices. They did a whole study of the whole automotive market, and then they look at us. I think we were ninth on the list of cars that were selling above MSRP. So not really a good thing, although the owners that then have the car and can sell them later, they're pretty happy with that. It's the car that's in demand, and it can't make enough of them, so they're going to sell for more. That's for sure. We definitely cannot make enough Corvettes. Also, Keith, we had a part supplier for Corvette that entered Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Is this the end of that company, or are they going to reform or come out of the bankruptcy without any problems? Well, it sounds like they're going to try. The saying that we glammed on to a while back was that the Corvette assembly plant, you're only as strong as your weakest supplier. And when you've got a supplier now entering Chapter 11 bankruptcy, obviously that's not good at all. But this is a family-owned business in 75. They said that it was a pre-pandemic agreement that has wrecked havoc on finances because of supply chain issues and the cost of materials is way higher than it was. But the Chapter 11 bankruptcy, there's actually a subchapter five in there that allows them leverage to restructure unfavorable agreements. So that's what it sounds like they're going to try to do is restructure agreements, be able to turn around and hopefully they'll come back out stronger. We think of automotive suppliers as these big conglomerates. Here's a family owned business in Michigan that's been there since 75, just trying to make it like the rest of us. Let's hope that they can do it and pull through and continue to be able to serve the Corvette. That would be nice. I hope the best for them. That's for sure. Also, it was good news. We had the very first customer ordered Z06 that was built last week. That was great news, actually. Yeah, we got the word on a Wednesday, confirmed it again Thursday. We've been waiting for General Motors actually to announce this. We think that it might happen today, actually, on Monday because of the embargo. We're going to talk about that for a second here coming up. But yeah, they haven't released it. We know that there's a picture. We believe the car would be a picture of Mr. Hendricks, then 001, 70th anniversary, black coupe that he purchased for, I believe, $3.6 million at Barrett Jackson earlier this year. We do know that since then, a number of customer cars have come off. And in fact, a friend of ours just got built. He was VIN number six. When I say a friend, this is just an enthusiast. He's had a couple Corvettes over the years. He has a thing for number six cars. He put in that order early, early on and it got accepted. They are building Corvette Z06s. So anytime we hear or see one of these things coming off the line and any news about it, it's a pretty big deal because still people think that the Z06s were canceled and that's not the case. It was only the allocations had been paused through the end of the year. They're still building the cars. So we want to make sure that people do know that. That is great news. And speaking of the Z06, we had talked about this a second ago. There was an embargo for all the magazines and people in the media to not talk about the track experience or the driving experience with the Z06. But that is ending because we know Road and Track has the car testing on the track. Yeah, that's the case. So some of these guys have had the cars for a little while. We know that Amelia had both the black one and a rapid blue press car to play with. She specifically said she wasn't allowed to talk about driving impressions. We're finding out that that embargo ends today, Monday, October 3rd. Last week, there was a big ride and drive event that Chevy held at the Pitt International Raceway. This is the same track where they filmed the Z06 documentary for the reveal. I know you've seen it. You've seen the drone shots with the Z06s rolling through there. Really cool track. And I'm sure that around the surrounding areas, there's some nice roads that they were also to be able to take the cars on. So what we're going to get starting today sometime is unfiltered reviews. People telling us what they think about the car, not what General Motors thinks about the car. We also haven't really heard anything other than the cars just being out. They're going to be driving them on the racetrack. We're going to hear about the handling, the suspension, the setup. There's been some questions about the overall speed of the car, especially from certain points like 120 to 160. Where are we at with all that? Well, we're going to find all that out this week with this embargo ending. What we're really excited about is we want to see some of the real professional reviews. Matt Farah, Randy Popes. I know there's a few more I'm throwing out there, but people that really know how to drive, get them in the car and hear from their driving experiences. I think it's going to be really cool. And again, this is just brand new opinions that's going to open up pretty exciting this week and we're going to have all kinds of stuff coming out so be prepared i can't wait buddy i can't wait let's take our first break keith and when we come back we'll talk about corvette racing and corvette rumors here on corvette today 
We all know that wheels make the car. Wheelcraft will help you take your Corvette to new levels. Wheelcraft offers the world's best PVD chrome finish available on the market. Available in bright chrome and black chrome. Wheelcraft nails it in both appearance and durability. And it comes with a five-year warranty against brake dust burns, pitting, peeling, and color delimination. Wheelcraft is also ISO certified. Whether you're having your wheels refinished or an exchange transaction, there is no core fee, no deposit, and you don't pay for the finished wheels until they are installed on your car. Wheelcraft insists on complete satisfaction before you pay. Hear from one of our customers. I picked up a brochure at the National Corvette Museum and took delivery of our new C8. I called Wheelcraft, and in 15 minutes, I ordered the new bright ice chrome wheels. Wheelcraft's follow-up and follow-through is superb. The wheels arrived on Sunday, installed on Monday, and cores were returned same day. The wheels are the highest quality I've ever seen, and they look awesome. Great prices, great customer service from initial contact to installation. Thanks, Dennis from Nashville. In many cases, Wheelcraft offers finished wheels on exchange or will apply this new finish to your wheels. Either way, Wheelcraft treats your wheels as their own. Visit our website at wheelcraft.com or call us at 833-840-5334. Arrive in style with Wheelcraft. The Radiator Grill Store offers protection for your C8's front radiators and side intakes. They also carry front strut tower covers to prevent rusting and pooling water, all with do-it-yourself installation. Get 10% off your total purchase with promo code CT10. See the full line of products at radiatorgrillstore.com. American Hydrocarbon is your one-stop shop for custom interior, exterior, and engine bay items for your C4 through C8 Corvette. We can help you create a custom look for your Corvette with carbon fiber or 10 different color patterns and styles. Whether it's a custom-made engine cover for your new C8 mid-engine Corvette or custom-made C4 interior upgrades, American Hydrocarbon can help you transform your Corvette into a best-in-class show car. And now we're proud to announce that we can produce and distribute officially licensed GM products for the C8 Corvette. That includes the front splitter, side skirts, engine appearance panels, and engine fluid caps. Plus, we now also carry the C8 Speedline side skirts along with the engine appearance package and high wing. Our products have been featured in VET and Corvette magazines. Give us a call, 813-476-5638. Visit our updated website at AmericanHydrocarbon.com or email us at pat at AmericanHydrocarbon.com. Let us help you make your Corvette the car you've always wanted it to be. American Hydrocarbon. You're listening and watching Corvette Today with Steve Garrett. Hey, thanks for watching and listening to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. With me every other week is Keith Cornett from CorvetteBlogger.com. We keep you current and up to date on what's happening with America's sports car. Corvette Today is brought to you by Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit Wheelcraft.com and learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit Wheelcraft.com today day or call them at 833-840-5334. In this second segment, we talk about Corvette racing and Corvette rumors. Keith, what's going on with Corvette racing at Road Atlanta? Well, we've got the final race of the IMSA season for 2022 happening. And in fact, we are recording this as the race is going on right now. So we won't have the final for you, but Corvette is leading the Endurance Cup. This is the four races where they race longer than the regular 100 minutes or the two hours. That includes like the six-hour races, the 12-hour races. So we're leading the Endurance Cup there. We're running second in GTD Pro, the driver and team championships, while Chevy is third in the manufacturer championship. Not sure if we can turn that in. Even if we, I think, went out and won in the number nine Porsche, which is currently leading those standings, something really happened to them. I don't know if it would be enough for us to be able to overtake them. So I, I think we're probably looking looking at hopefully a number two finish for the year. It's been a wild season. Obviously, we're running a non-GT3 car in a GT3 class with a waiver. We had some favorable balance of performance tables early on in the season. Those seem to have gone away after Long Beach. We've been down in the stands ever since we started Road Atlanta in fifth place, I believe. We'll be interested to find out how they do. We hope that the team finishes strong as always. We have the WC, the number 64 Corvette. Their last race is November 12th in Bahrain. We do have one more Corvette race after this one coming up. It'll be the final one in the WEC. There you go. Sounds good. Also, I was really excited about this, Keith. GM has completed the shakedown of the C8 Corvette Z06 GT3R. Man, what a great looking car. Yeah, you know, we've only seen it in rendering so far. We are excited to learn more about this car. So this was a test that was held at the Milford Proving Ground. 
Sports Car 365 had the write-up on it. They said that they brought in an unnamed factory Corvette racing driver, probably Jordan or Tommy, did that test. The GT3R is based on the Z06 production car, and it has the same motor, the LT6, that'll be in the car. Chevy is also offering a turnkey customer-focused Corvette for worldwide competition. I think the goal is to get about 10 of these cars made this year, or actually four next year, and then another 10 after that. You have to do 20 to be fully homologated. I talked to somebody on the team and they said that the interest has been really high on that i looked at the application actually you do have to have a race team and you have to show where you're competing at they won't give it to you and i steve unfortunately darn it it's in the process and we should see hopefully early next year again man that's a good looking car i'd love to have one of those that's for sure in the rumor section keith we kind of got an inkling that maybe ford is benchmarking the c8z06 yeah, you know, this was an interesting story. It came out of GM Authority. They had a photographer capture the Z06, leaving a Ford facility over there. And, of course, their speculation was that there was some sort of car swap program that allowed Ford to get this car. I'm not really buying it, Steve. I think maybe somebody was just having coffee with an old colleague, maybe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that would be my guess. I really can't see Ford having their hands on this car it's highly doubtful that they're benchmarking this car now. Now, will they? Absolutely. We know that they had a Stingray for a while. We absolutely believe that they're going to get this car because we both have similar engines with their GT and then the LT6 with the flat plane crank. I'm sure they want to see what makes ours tick and get into the details. Yeah, they'll be getting a car at some point, but I don't think the story was all that accurate. All I got to say, buddy, is this. If I can't get a car, Ford can't get a car. (laughs) <laughs> right. <laughs> also, the National Corvette Museum's Motorsports Park is going to be the first commercialized track to have a Z06 fleet, and they're going to offer a Z06 driving experience, and that starts in November of this year. Yeah, they kind of made this into a nice little event. They put out some teasers the week before to stay tuned, and they announced that they're getting two Z06s. I think they're going to get built next month or in October, and then they'll have them ready for the track sometime in November. So there is a driving experience. It's more of a touring thing than a actual full open wide throttle kind of race okay. that you put in the car. But you get four laps. It's a lead follow format. You're on the 3.2 mile track. You know, there's 23 turns there, so you're going to definitely feel the suspension and handling of the car. The first laps, I think you can book for November. If you go to NCM Motorsports Park's website, there is a automatic online scheduling thing there. And I saw that the first lap is still available for November 14th. This is good, especially for people that may be on the fence of the car. Should I go E-Ray? Should I go Stingray? Should I go Z06? Maybe that you really had your heart set on the Z06 and now you're not getting it. Well, you can spend $1,000 here and go for that ride. We'll be looking for some videos as well from that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's a big news for the NCM Motorsports Park. They're still rebuilding from the tornado. I about said hurricane, Steve. The tornado <laughs> they had. They're putting a whole bunch more money into it. They're doing an additional $2.5 million in upgrades. They're going to have viewing balconies and bar and restaurants and some meetings space the renders of that new facility are going to be pretty happening so with the z06 there it's gonna be a lot of fun Hmm. november 14th buddy don't tempt me don't tempt me (laughs) also in our rumors category keith our final story is a sound engineer confirmed that gm is creating corvettes audio for electric cars which is really cool because i know when teslas first came out there were a lot of accidents with people walking out and walking in front of cars and getting hit by cars because they couldn't hear the cars Yeah, you know, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration does require artificial sounds now to be added because, like you said, pedestrians, cyclists, we're so used to listening for loud cars and trucks that we don't think about these silent killers. How about that, Steve? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. But not only did they say that they're working on this, but again, here's another GM employee confirming an electric Corvette. Let's just get that news out of the way right away. Right. But what they're doing is they're giving these distinctive sounds to each of their cars. And one guy that, that, in fact, the Cadillacs might have their own sounds. The Chevys might have their own sounds. And then the halo cars like the Hummer and the Corvette, they might even have their own sounds on top of that just to make them unique from the rest of their brand. So it should be pretty interesting. I always joke that if it doesn't sound like the car on the Jetsons, then I'm not interested. (laughs) Then Dodge came out with that EV a few weeks back that had the artificial engine noise. To be honest, it sounded pretty good to me. I'd rather have something than nothing. And if you can make it sound like that, that was pretty good. That's a pretty interesting 
interesting concept. Imagine that your job is you have to go make an electric Corvette sound like a Corvette. That sounds like fun. And buddy, I love your idea about the Jetsons, but we're really dating ourselves because we know what the Jetsons are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just what we grew up with. There you go. We just grew up with Jetsons. That's for sure. Let's take our final break, buddy. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the lighter side of Corvette here on Corvette Today. Are you ready for a better insurance policy without the Corvette tax? With agreed value protection, the value of your collector vehicle will never change. Plus, you'll save money. Get a quick quote at ncminsurance.com. Hey, honey, are you awake? Mm, I am now. I can't sleep. Since turning 50, I keep dreaming of a red door and a blue door, somehow knowing there are only choices for retirement. Okay. Through the red door, we outlive our money. We have to rely on our kids. We're stuck on a fixed income. It's terrifying. Yeah, that would suck. But through the blue door, our money outlives us. We retire on our terms. Our kids stay our kids, not our caretakers. We make work optional. Yes, that's much better. That's what I want to, but what do we do? We call True Wealth and Company at 913-653-8783. They specialize in helping successful people make work optional. They're our fiduciary Blue Door personal wealth managers. Hey, where are you going? It's 3 a.m. I can't sleep. I'm going to check out True Wealth and Company online at retirewithtrue.com. That Blue Door is going to be our retirement. 913-653-8783. Visit us online at retirewithtrue.com. Investment advice offered through True Wealth and Company, LLC, a registered investment advisor in the state of Kansas. Vetfinders.com is the Internet's original Corvette classified ads website with classified ads starting at just $25. And every ad runs until your Corvette is sold. If you're in the market for a Corvette, Vetfinders.com has over 500 Corvettes for sale from all around the USA and Canada and covering all eight generations. Visit VetFinders.com, the Internet's destination for buying and selling Corvettes. That's V-E-T-T-E Finders.com. MidAmerica Motor Works has been the industry leader and aftermarket supplier and manufacturer of Corvette replacement parts and accessories since 1974. We have what you need for all years and generations of Corvette. Whether you need a door panel or a seat cover for your C1 Corvette or the latest shirt, jacket, hat, or lifestyle accessory to complement your new C8, you can get it at MidAmerica Motor Works. So if you're restoring, repairing, replacing, or simply researching your Corvette, MidAmerica Motor Works is the place to go. Visit our website at mamotorworks.com and shop Corvettes by generation or specific year. Or call us Monday through Saturday, toll-free at 800-500-1500 and talk to one of our Corvette experts to help you get the right part or accessory. Pursue your passion with MidAmerica Motorworks. Check out the first Corvette-only auction website at 427stingray.com slash Corvette today. You can sign up to bid and comment on more than 40 Corvettes every week. That's 427stingray.com slash Corvette today. Join the community. And now, back to the only current podcast on Corvettes, Corvette Today, with your host, Steve Garrett. Thanks once again for listening and watching Corvette Today, the show that talks about everything Corvette. Brought to you by Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com and learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or do a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit wheelcraft.com today or call them at 833-840-5334. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. With me is Keith Cornett from Corvette Blogger. Every other week, Keith is here and keeps us current and up-to-date on what's happening in the world of Corvette. In this final segment, we always talk about the lighter side of Corvette. Keith, this is a really cool story. Chevrolet Europe recapped its 33rd annual Corvette Weekend in Switzerland. Switzerland. I didn't even know they had a Corvette weekend in Switzerland. Not only is it, they call it the Super Corvette Weekend. This is actually one of the largest shows on the European continent, I do believe. Chevrolet Europe was there to recap it. Now, their video is mostly focused on the current C8, but we do see previous generations at the show. If you go to our story on that, we link to a French website, a French Corvette club, that has pictures of a lot of the cars that were on display there, not just the C8s. Also, there was Oliver Gavin's Corvette Experience. He's running a ride-and-drive program out of Germany. People can go pay money and drive the Corvettes with him and learn track techniques and then have fun driving. 
We didn't see him there, but we saw some of his cars there that had the OG logo on it. That looked like a really cool event. And the Corvette people are seeing wherever you go around the world. They love their cars. and They love to show them. That's an awesome deal. And it's a world car. I mean, that just goes to show it really is a world car. Yep. Also, the man who actually named the car Corvette was recognized in his hometown in the Hall of Honor. That's a cool deal, too. Yeah, Myron Scott is the guy that's credited with coming up with the name of Corvette. You know how he did it, Steve? No. A lot of the Chevrolets were named starting with a C. He was going page by page to the dictionary, looking at the Cs, when he came across the word Corvette, which is a highly maneuverable warship. The whole idea behind the Corvette is that you're giving a two-seat convertible to these GIs that experience some of these cars over in Europe. They're back in the United States now. They're working. They've got additional money. They can do a fun car. By naming this the Corvette with a name that many people would be familiar with because of their military service, it tied right in. That's how we got the name Corvette. So Myron Scott was the guy that did that. He's actually a former newspaper photographer. Long before he named the Corvette in 1933, he's the guy that started the Soapbox Derby, wow. which is where kids could build their own cars. Right. They had to build them themselves. They had to keep the build costs down and then they'd race them. So he started that back in 1933 in Dayton, Ohio, with the addition of him being named namer of the Corvette. His name is being inducted into the Preble County Historical Society's Hall of Honor in Ohio, which recognizes people who've done great things for their community. So that's pretty cool to have that here. That's awesome. Myron, thank you very much from all of us at Corvette today. Also, the Detroit News readers named the C8 Corvette as best in show at the Detroit Auto Show that just finished up, what, a couple weeks ago? Exactly, yeah. So the Detroit News does this every year. They have a jury panel, and it's about 100 people or so. And they go through, they ask, you know, best truck, best EV, best this, best that. And so when they come back in, actually the Corvette Z06 picked up two awards. Not only did it win the best in show, which again, think of all the EVs that are there, the Lyric, the Hummer, and all the stuff from the other manufacturers. Corvette came in first there, and then also it won the If Money Were No Object Award. Huh. So I think that's a little nod to how expensive the car is. Right. But again, pretty cool to see that car honored there. That's awesome. Our final story, Keith, this is really neat. At the National Corvette Museum, their new Driven by Design exhibit is now open. Yeah, this is something that's been coming. A lot of work went on this, especially by retired GM design chief Tom Peters. He is credited with making it look like one of the design rooms at General Motors where you've got all the renderings and photos and designers are picking their best. Really anxious to see this one. It should be pretty good. I guess it's like 6,500 square foot area. Wow. You'll learn more about the design process and then also about some of the people that worked on the car. It should be a good exhibit. It should be there, I think, in Bash when we go there next spring. That's awesome. Keith, thank you so much for being on Corvette today. We had good news. As we we're recording our show for this week, the power came back on at your house. I think you planned that somehow. I'm going to figure that out, Steve. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Three days of camping inside, that's long enough. That's right. Well, I'll let you go so you can get unpacked and get things put together again, and we'll talk to you in two weeks. All right, Steve. Take care, everybody. Thank you for so much for your thoughts and prayers. Keep thinking about those people down in South Florida, and we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for listening to Corvette Today, and please be sure to tell your family, friends, and other Corvette enthusiasts about the Corvette Today podcast. And thanks to our sponsors, Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com to learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit Wheelcraft com today or call 833-840-5334. American Hydrocarbon at AmericanHydrocarbon.com. True Wealth and Company at RetireWithTrue.com. Also, Aerolari Wheels. Get $100 off your purchase with the new promo code CT111 at Aerolari.com. Met America Motorworks at MAMotorworks.com. And Hendrick Chevrolet in Kansas City at ChevyUSA.com. You've been listening to Corvette Today with Steve Garrett. If you'd like to contact Steve with any thoughts on the podcast or ideas for guests on Corvette Today, you can email him at stevegarrettdj at gmail.com. That's stevegarrettdj at gmail.com. Garrett has two R's and two T's. Or connect with Steve on social media on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using at stevegarrettdj. Thanks again for listening to Corvette Today.